Virgo, hi and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing your love reading. This is for the upcoming week of roughly November 24th through the 30th, about the last week of November. So the way I like to do these readings is I'm going to take a look at the shared energy between you both. We'll take a look at your energy, their energy, and then the near future, what is coming towards you. All right, let's give these a few shuffles here, Virgo. I'm going to get down one layer of cards first, just to get an idea of the general energies, the dominant energies that are happening for you. And then we will go in and clarify by pulling two additional cards. All right, let's give these a few more shuffles, Virgo, and let's see what's happening for you this last week of November. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, to anybody who does celebrate. All right, two more. All right, we're going to stop here. Eight of Swords is at the bottom. Let's see. The situation, shared energy between you both. How do they see you? Feel about you? What action would they like to take towards you? All right, how you see them? Feel about them? What action you would like to take towards them? And then the near future outcome, what is coming towards you? Okay, yeah, I mean, this is conflicting energy this week. Wow. So the shared energy in the situation right now between the both of you is just feeling like there, we could have a serious separation here. There could have been a really painful ending here. The Ten of Swords is for you both here. This is just to say that there is just some real pain right now between the two of you. If not a full-on separation, um, let me say that. If not a full-on separation, there is just some real pain here. We will go in and clarify. The story does unfold as we go in and pull more cards. Um, but let's see. How they see you right now, we do have the Five of Wands. This is going to be, you know, combative. This is a card of competition. Um, you know, um, what is it? It's a card about like arguments and fighting um, and how they're feeling about you right now. We got the independent energy. Um, so again, I don't know if they're just like, you know what? I'm feeling like I need to do me. I need to go solo here. Again, we will go in and clarify the action that they would like to take towards you. We have another five here, so it's just a lot of like, uh, a lot of change that is needed and change that is coming. Let me say that. But the action that they want to take towards you, we got that five of. Five of swords, man. The five of swords is like, it's very much fighting energy. It's certainly fighting with loved ones. You know, it's, um, it's fighting in the way that you let ends justify means. You know, you can say very hurtful things. It's that kind of energy. It's very combative energy. And that's the action that they would like to take towards you. Again, we will go in and clarify. Now, the way you're seeing them, we have that Four of Cups. I feel like you're just over it. You're done. You're over it. I mean, maybe you see them as like, um, you know, with that Four of Cups, this is a card of even the person being over it, right? But like, maybe you see them not even seeing what they have, not appreciating or recognizing all the blessings that they have. You know, maybe you just see them saying no a lot. Um, but you're just, you're, you're kind of over it, basically. The way you're feeling about them, I mean, we have the Knight of Wands. I feel like your emotions might just just be like on fire. Like, I feel like one way you're like this, one way you're like that. You're wanting to take a compulsive action. I don't know, maybe you feel like you want to do something that takes them by surprise. Um, but this is very like firecracker energy <laughs> right now. Um, but the action that you would like to take towards them, we have that Queen of Pentacles. So I'm not sure exactly, but this is a very nurturing energy. Um, so it's really interesting with, with all the other cards that are here. You know, I will say this with the Queen of Pentacles, while she is amazing at nurturing and taking care of, first of all, the day-to-day -day and all of the people around her, what I love about the Queen of Pentacles is she always takes the time to take care of herself. She'll carve out time for yourself. So I don't know if that's really what is happening here. If you're like, you know what? As important as you are to me, I'm also important. And maybe that's where that that card is coming through. Now coming towards you guys, we have the King of Wands. You know, this is a very flexible and adaptable energy, which I really like. It's a card of taking the lead, um, certainly a card of thinking outside the box here. Very visionary type of energy, but let's go ahead and clarify because something really, really like, I think serious happened here. And we're both feeling that this week. Let's go ahead and clarify the shared energy between you both, which is that 10 of swords. This is like, let me put these cards to the side and let's clarify. Uh, tell us about this Ten of Swords. Shared energy between you both this week, Virgo. Yeah. Um, 
painful ending, feeling backstabbed, feeling betrayed, feeling like, you know, life just got us down and not feeling like we can get up right now. All right, let's get two more cards to clarify the shared energy. What's this situation here between you guys? All right, two more. We'll take you. The magician is at the bottom. Of, I mean, the magician is here and the fool is at the bottom. The page of wands. Okay. All right, I think... I think the shared energy is starting to look a bit more positive here, Virgo, as we unfold. But, you know, we're still working through all of these heavy energies. There is pain here. There was a serious painful ending here. There could have been a serious... There's a serious wound here that both of you felt. Um, something was really painful between you both. But right now, we're at a place where both of you know exactly what you want and what you need to do to get there. We're starting to be open for a new direction. I don't know if it's a new direction away from each other, I'll be honest, but there is a shared energy right now of both of you knowing what you want here. The magician is here to tell us, okay, we got ideas that we want to bring down to reality. There's something that we want to create and manifest here. And both of you know that. And it can be a new direction here. There's an openness to a new direction here. Does this new direction involve you both going in together or going your separate ways, you know? We'll see. We will see. But right now, both of you know what you want. And definitely, it's certainly to let go of this pain here. We're definitely looking in a brand new direction here with excitement, actually. Like, joyfully ready to go in a new direction because one was very painful. All right, how they're seeing you, we got that five of wands. You know, this is combative, competitive energy, basically. The fool is at the bottom. Ten of cups came out. Let's take it. Let me shuffle. Let me get one more. Ten of Cups fell out, so I feel like you were once like happy home, happy life, and now they're just like, they're conflicted. We'll take it. Strength. Strength and the Empress is here. Yeah. You know, it's like, they're just conflicted right now. Um, they see that you're strong. They see that you have compassion, that you've probably been taming some inner beasts as well as having compassion and gentleness with others. Um, but you've been through a lot. Both of you have. But right now they're just seeing you in a conflicting way because of everything that's happened. They're just like, it's taking strength in them as well to see this, you know? There was once like happy everything. You guys once had a really beautiful relationship. There was a really beautiful happy home, a lot of harmony here. Just a lot of happiness here. And right now I think they're just like conflicted if they can still have this. That's how they're seeing you at least in this like, you know, I'm sure because of what's happened in the past, what's what certainly is still we're still dealing with because um, all of these energies are here. But right now there is a conflicting energy. And I think it's like, can we have all of this together? They're wondering it because even how they're feeling, we have we have your energy here. This is the Beyonce, who's a Virgo. Uh, but it's that single ladies energy. Of course, it's part about self-sufficiency and basically not needing anybody. Um, but when it comes to emotions, you know, this is feeling independent here. So... Let's see, what's this Nine of Pentacles for how they are feeling about you, Virgo? Tell us about this Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, it just feels like wanting to go single here. Go at it alone. Um, Ten of Pentacles did want to come out. Which is another part of family. Okay, let's take the King of Cups. Six of Cups, yeah. Ten of Swords is at the bottom here. I don't know. You know, there very much and very well might be a separation here for some of you. <sighs> There's something from the past, I feel like, that just they're feeling like they want to resolve. Um, they're certainly holding their composure. They love you a lot. This is soulmate energy, you guys, with that Six of Cups. I mean, they saw you as a happy everything with that Ten of Cups. <sighs> they love you deeply deeply um they even miss you with that six of cups energy with how they're feeling let me tell you they can be like thinking back of like all the fun memories you guys have all that you've been through and they're thinking back with like happiness and joy really but still it's a feeling of wanting to go independent and solo here maybe there's something they feel like they want to let go of from the past for others of them because, you know, Six of Cups is basically a card of the past. Um, and there's something that they want to go independent of. Um, but they really, they love you deeply, deeply. Um, but there is something about going solo and independent here that's just 
it's coming through so strong here Virgo but yeah they love you and you definitely soulmate energy um, they feel very deeply for you with that king of cups they're even able to put I think themselves in your shoes you know at least the king of cups does have that kind of energy but yeah there's a feeling here of going single and independent um, the action that they would like to take towards you we have that five of swords they could just be really conflicted honestly like they may not know at all what they want to do here because there's still some serious pain that we're working through um, not taking it but Queen of Swords. All right, tell us about this Five of Swords. What action they would like to take towards you, Virgo? What's this Five of Swords? I think they're just really conflicted. Yeah, let's take it. Yeah, <laughs> speaking of conflicted, we have the Two of Pentacles. I mean, this is a card of like going back and forth. I'll do this. I, do, I won't. I will. I won't. I will. I won't. Um, yeah, Two of Cups. very conflicting energy they do not know what they want to do or what action to take just yet they go back and forth they go back and forth i feel like sometimes they're even combative themselves they're just really juggling all the changes that are happening within themselves within the situation here probably with you as well but yeah they're going back and forth right now with what to do what to do next? What action do I take? They really have their hand over their heart with this, with whatever they're considering here. Do I stay? Do I go? <sighs> Can we have harmony and peace in this partnership? It's very conflicting energy, very like indecisive. At least for what action they want to take. All right, how you're seeing them. You see them as that four of cups. I feel like you're just kind of like over it. Maybe you see them as over it. Again, I feel a need of, I feel like saying like, you know, for some of you, you might just see them not seeing what they have right in front of them. Like really just not appreciating what they already have. All the blessings that are truly here. Four of swords again. And temperance. Yeah. I mean, I think you see them being patient with temperance or at least trying to take a middle path now. Because basically they're getting some R&R &R here I feel like they've taken a step back you're seeing that they've taken a step back I think they're making space here for like how to take the next step forward but you can see that they're in this place of like kind of keeping to themselves um, not kind of certainly keeping to themselves probably going through some rest and recovery here they've been through a lot regaining their strength both mentally and emotionally regaining their balance that's how you see them you can see that they're kind of trying to restore the balance the inner peace regaining their strength getting some rest and recovery this has been very heavy all right how you're feeling about them we have that knight of wands that's very impulsive as well i'm kind of feeling like you know they're back and forth this is more a uh, impulsive type of energy but it's like that firecracker energy with the knight of wands tell me about the knight of wands or how you are feeling about them all right, Virgo, tell me about the Knight of Wands. And they can always go both ways, like vice versa, these energies. The High Priestess and the King of Swords. <sighs> yeah, it's such a firecracker energy right now with how you're feeling. I feel like just emotions are just sparked and fired up, and I feel like it goes in different directions. And you're, 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 you're knowing that you don't know everything you need to know, even about yourself. Virgo you know the high priestess is here it's here to tell us we need to go within we need to spend time with ourselves alone with our thoughts we need to listen to our intuition here there's still more to be seen here and that's how you're feeling you're feeling like I need to I need to use my gut here you're feeling like you need to make smart decisions smart choices you need to use your head you need to use your logic um, and you have been, you have been using your head and logic, but you know, the high priestess is like, you know that you have to spend some time alone. You're doing it. You're using your intuition when it comes to the situation. You're figuring out how you feel for sure. At least you are figuring out how you feel for sure. 
Wow, the high priestess. That's really a card about going deep within, deep within our soul for answers. All right, the action that you would like to take towards them. We have the Queen of Pentacles, really your own energy as well here. Very nurturing type of energy. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. For Virgo, for what action they would like to take towards them. Their person. We'll take it. Two. Wow. We got the Emperor at the bottom. Okay, really interesting, Virgo. I feel like you're using your intuition right now. Um, but you got the Ace of Wands and you've got the Hanging Man. So you're changing perspective here. There is a perspective shift here. This is you surrendering something, meaning control over how things are going to turn out. You're not forcing anything here, Virgo, with the Hanged Man. This is a card of actually surrendering control, letting go, letting things flow, and kind of gaining a new perspective on the situation here. But you got the Ace of Wands. This is a passionate reboot. This is wanting to hit restart here. So you're gaining some perspective on hitting restart, or if the, in that gain perspective, you hit restart. But this is either passionate reboot for yourself, but there is a new perspective you're gaining. You're not taking action yet, basically, is what I'm saying here, Virgo. You're not yet ready to take action because you're still gaining enlightenment. You're still going within this week. That's why you're not ready to take action. You see promise, you see potential, but... You're still gaining some more knowledge, some more insight when it comes to the situation. And they're still, you know, back and forth a little bit. Both of you are still kind of navigating it still. All right, coming towards you, we have that King of Wands. Again, this is a very flexible and a very adaptable energy. It's an energy about having strategy, about taking the lead here, thinking outside the box. All right, tell me about the King of Wands coming towards Virgo. No. Too many wanted to come out. We're not taking any of them. Um, all right, what's this King of Wands coming towards Virgo? Two more. All right, and clarifying the King of Wands. Man, that fool is at the bottom. The Tower and the Emperor. Whew. This is wanting to take a chance, having faith and having trust again. Um, wow. Something very shocking is coming through, you guys. With that tower, this is sudden change. There's a sudden shift here. And you got the King of Wands and the Emperor. So I feel like you guys are going to get a grip, a real grip. You're going to gain a real strategy here, real order here. We're going to gain control over any of the chaos that's been happening. But the tower's coming through. This is a sudden change. There's something very shocking that's coming through. It's going to get both of you to react and to respond. Maybe you've been sitting in this place of rest and recovery, but the tower is going to come through to kind of snap us a little bit. Again, the tower comes through. It makes us its divine intervention. It's here to move something out of the way to make space for something brand new to come in. So it's clearing space here for you. Okay, Virgo, I am going to leave it there for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies, and I'll see you all next week.